Hello, welcome to another Tonalist Painting Demonstration. This is your painter in residence, M. Francis McCarthy. And the name of the painting I'm bringing you today is called Tree and Sea Number 5. And what do you think of that very original title? Hmm, not much, eh? Well, it's a pretty cool painting, and I hope you'll uh, enjoy watching me put together. We're working on a bit of hardboard. It's been prepped with two coats of house paint, basically tinted to approximate burnt sienna you know burnt sienna can vary that's a pretty good approximation and uh, currently we're painting with some burnt umber it looks like it actually looks like burnt sienna with some burnt umber in it I did this painting uh, last, last week pretty sure it was last week real happy with it real stoked with it I think maybe the only downside for me is that it took me a little longer than I would have liked it to uh, mostly because I don't sell these for very much. Uh, I sell them like uh, here locally, uh, to, you know, to tourists and things. And you can only get so much for a tiny little painting like this. I, although I will say the big, big, big exception for that is if you put it in a giant crusty frame. Then you could get some more. But yeah, no. I only got so many crusty frames. I'm not that, uh, and that, you know, the crusty frame, it's going to be the perfect frame for somebody coming along, but maybe not everybody. So I prefer to play things a little more, not, not generic. That's a word with a lot of negative connotations, but you know, it's something that every, that could have some appeal for everybody, you know, um, we are working with, I believe we're working with a mostly limited palette on this. I'm not positive though. I've been building up to do my extended palette video course. <laughs> I was supposed to do it this week, but I got waylaid and all sorts of other directions. I did have some really pretty cool paintings though, I have to say, and they'll be coming to you. They'll be coming your way. Of course, the painting I end up doing for the extended video course won't be on the channel. It'll be, you know, for sale, but for a reasonable price because uh, you know I'm all about uh, spreading the love and uh, I really appreciate you coming around and hopefully uh, you'll enjoy watching this painting come together um, I think you know I got in the weeds a little bit with the um, well first of all let me talk about how I set it up that I think video will be in the members area don't quote me members uh, I'll try I think I, I do have it and uh, what was sort of uh, cool about that was that it had uh, the reference image had the most boring ocean ever in it. And I was able to swap out something that, while it didn't look very good as a photo, was very inspiring for me as a painter. And I think that's the real value so far uh, of the uh, Adobe Photoshop um, getting involved with the AI. I, I, I really like it. And if uh, you want to check it out, you know, join a, join the members area and you'll see a couple videos where I'm showing it off. I, I mean, I maybe could do it on the channel at large, but I like to keep my channel sort of focused on, on what I do here, which is paint, you know. Uh, the members area, I do experiment a bit more, all, all in the name of education and stuff. You know, but oftentimes I thought of branching out into different things on the channel like like that. Or uh, I did do, I think, sort of a bit of an opinion thing about uh, cleaning up with oil, uh, oil paint cleanup, you know, and not not for views, not you know, but mostly because I had to get that out there. I was, uh, you know, I just heard for the, uh, the umpteenth time. Uh, that the oil paint, uh, you know, someone was using water miscible oils because of cleanup, da 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 da. And the cleanup's not a big deal if you have the odorless mineral spirits, which are a little bit expensive, I'll admit. I, uh, I had a, a student that I, I uh, basically uh, turned on to a jar. I didn't have that much mineral spirits around, so I gave her some regular mineral spirits and so did the odorless one. And, uh, you know, uh, it gives me a headache pretty quick. Uh, it looks like we got an ad for the book coming up. Yeah, we've got a couple books out this week, and I really appreciate uh, people um, investing in it. But mostly, I think they're going to get a lot of value from it. If you like the, the sort of thing I do, uh, it's a great resource for you. There's no question. 60 bucks US, and I'll ship it to you wherever you are on the planet uh, with the international shipping included. And uh, you'll love it. I know you will. Uh, and it's going to be a great adjunct to 
in addition to uh, the video courses that are coming up. And I'm just mentioning them, uh, mentioning them now. They won't be coming out till February. I've already made a decision about that. Uh, but when they come out there, you're going to get uh, probably like the book. Maybe uh, yeah, so at some point you go, oh, the video courses, you know, but it's all good. So, yeah, we're, we're working in the sky now. I did do some pre-mixing, and that also is in the members area. Uh, but, but to be honest, you know, a lot of times it's the phthalo blue, a little white, and then I, I move that phthalo blue a little bit with either some romber or some black just to kind of dirty it up a little so it feels natural. If you just plunk that blue in the sky, uh, it won't be nice. Hey, you know what? I know what we can talk about real quick here. If you've, if you've been patient enough to get this far, as I burble along, you know, um, let's talk about greens because I don't think uh, we've talked about that for a while. We've got some greens in this painting. And I'm, I don't care, I don't make a secret about my solution to the green uh, thing. Now, a part of this video course I'm doing is I'm, I'm tying it to a 10 uh, paint tube set from Winton. And in that set is uh, the one I'm going to be going with has the 37 mil tubes. And they kindly have provided us with two greens there. One green being phthalo green and the other green being permanent green light, which is just another form of phthalo green mixed with some acrylide yellow yeah so uh, the problem is with those greens is that when you mix them around they really don't give you very good results and that's uh, why I came up with and why I include black in any limited palette scenario that I that I do um, but also in my normal everyday palette my full palette uh, black Mixed with acrylide yellow gives you a green. I call it Mike's green because no one ever told me about it. So I figure I'm the inventor. <laughs> I know I'm not the only guy to ever do this, but I'm the only person I ever heard talk about it. And at, with that as your base green, you could, if you want a cool green, you got a little bit of that phthalo and that looks really nice. Um, whereas if you're work, starting with the phthalo, you're going to have to adulterate it for quite a while uh, before you start getting any, anything that even approximates a natural green and I was talking with a local student uh, and we're doing some uh, um, some painting and with the uh, limited palette and uh, she had mentioned that uh, she'd run into that before and I'm sure she's not the only one so uh, like oh so what you you think you maybe the sap green will do it for you sap green is yeah, it's okay but it's not gonna do for you what Mike's green does for you Mike's green you could uh, tint it cool like a little phthalo blue you know a little alizarin crimson in there is nice or for those medium greens uh, by the way all this stuff's usually discussed in the members area because I do it all the time I'm not uh, don't make a secret of it um, medium greens I like to chuck in some burnt sienna sometimes I do it without even thinking about it it's automatic get some red in those greens get some warm in those greens the highlights I like to add in the cad yellow uh, at, or I mean mostly the cad orange and also cad yellow really so you see us laying in some greens now uh, we're, typically I'll put, put in my darkest areas and then a, a dark green up against that you know and that's informed a lot of times by maybe some phthalo blue, phthalo green, or and some alizarin crimson and that sort of thing, or maybe di diox purple, if I've got that on my palette. Uh, and then I go into the medium greens, which I just told you what I do there. Lightest greens, like you see that green we're putting up there, that's got a lot of uh, cat orange in it. Yeah, and there's another color you wouldn't think. Oh, cat orange, that's the perfect color for your green highlights. It is. Because the uh, while the yellow has its uses, don't get me wrong, I will be using it. Um, it's if you just go into the yellow, yellow having this really super green tendency already. A lot of times those greens are too electric. They're too they're too popping. You know they might be good for that little tiny bit of accent at the very end. You know, but orange is far more handy and useful and those are some solid gold tips and that's the kind of thing I'd be laying on you in the video courses coming up and it's kind of thing I've been laying on you on this channel for a long time and uh, if you're a painter you know God bless you you get a lot of credit you know so many people are just busy uh, spectating their, their their way through their whole lives you know they're just 
taken in the Netflix and the social medias and the uh, who knows what, you know, not to mention all the, the stuff we can do with the, the food and the, the alcohol and the God knows what, you know, but if you're spending some time painting, you know, it's not, a, it's not the easiest uh, um, task that you're ever going to be engaged with, but it's extremely rewarding. Uh, and uh, for me, uh, really rewarding because I've been doing it for a while now. So most of the things I do are pretty decent and sometimes really good, you know. And when I do something that sucks, well, you know, I'm still learning. And that's the great thing about any time you fail. You just don't get all hung up on, oh, I failed, I'm a failure, blah, blah, blah. Ask yourself, how many paintings have I done? Have I done, you know, 3,000 paintings? Well, okay. You probably have done 10, 20, 100, 200, doesn't really matter. Like I say, I've done thousands, I know. Um, and every now and again, I pull out a clinker. Uh, I just uh, brush myself off and I come in the next day and do another painting. Here's another tip for you if you made it this far. Okay, let's just say you did one that really is terrible and you know it's bad. And I, I recommend just get rid of it. You know, if it's really bad, just get rid of it. You don't need it around reminding you. You'll forget it if you don't have it around. Um, that's tip number one. Tip number two is when you're uh, going to get in the studio right away, not that same day, maybe next day, um, and go after something you know you're comfortable with. You know, if it's the type of scene you're comfortable with or colors or palette you're comfortable with, uh, do that and, 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 and kind of give yourself some support uh, that way. That's an excellent and awesome tip because just because you pulled out a clinker, there's a lot of things that can go wrong with a painting. Um, most of the time... I would say the number one thing that goes wrong is compositional. But hey, this uh, this green thing I'm talking about, maybe you don't have nice uh, greens that look natural in your painting. So everyone looks at it and goes, what the heck is this, uh, this icky greens everywhere? And you just didn't know. You didn't know how to get out of that little cul-de-sac. Uh, so Uncle Mike just did help you with that. And... Uh, you know, hopefully you'll get some value from it and hopefully you're gonna you know uh, go make a painting now we got like one minute left the uh, last thing I want to talk about is the cadiums uh, I, I am um, and you're gonna hear it in the members area if you're a member uh, I'm working with all these uh, Winton colors and the number one struggle with all that stuff is a lack of opacity <clears throat> hands down Mostly I wouldn't miss it except for the cadiums in my palette. Cad cadiums are so, so wonderful. They're totally worth the money. So if you've been holding off because it's, you know, out here it's 60 bucks for a uh, 65, 70 bucks New Zealand for a 37 mil tube. I don't know what that would be US, maybe 50, something like that. A lot. You know, you look at that, you go, wow, that's a lot. Why so much? Uh, how, how long is that going to last? It'll last you quite a while because there's a lot of pigment strength there. There's a lot of opacity there. And uh, the, the, on the downside is I would recommend if uh, uh, you're happy with what you're doing, um, you maybe, maybe you'll stick with that and maybe not get into the CADs because once you go CAD, you can't go back. <laughs> That's the moral of today's story. I hope you're having a wonderful new year. And I really appreciate you taking the time. I know you got a lot of things you could watch. But hopefully getting some value from watching this lovely little painting come together. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. It has a, a nice feeling of air in it. And I think the water's pretty. And the sky's nice. And the tree's good. And I think we just won all the way around. Like I said, it, I think for all the effort that went into it, I probably should have done it a little bigger. But... It is what it is, and I'll be happy to move it on. Um, if you're interested in it, let me know via email. I, I haven't been putting things in the store automatically, um, and it's not because I don't want to sell them to you. It's just that uh, I feel like I've got to retool that whole thing. Anyway, until I come back with another video for your edification, hopefully for your edification and enjoyment, do me a favor, do me a solid, take good care of yourself, your family, all your loved ones, and uh, stay out of trouble. Uh, and while you're doing that, God bless you and your family. Fight the power.